Here are the first images of what a Tesla Cybertruck looks like in black. Um, you know, one version of the Cybertruck in black looks amazing and I actually prefer it over the stainless steel look. The other one, in my opinion, looks absolutely shocking and just terrible. I'm not a fan of it, but let me know what you think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A lot of people apparently are choosing to get their Cybertrucks wrapped. You can get Tesla to do it. So you can actually check this out. Uh, you can have to get pay Tesla a fee. It's around $7,000 US to get the Cybertruck wrapped in either black or white. Uh, the black version is a matte black version. The white version is a matte white version. Both of them, in my opinion, look good. I'm not into white cars personally. I know a lot of people are, but I'm not, I'm not, a, not a big white fan. I like black cars. The black matte version of the Cybertruck is an improvement, in my opinion, over the standard Cybertruck stainless steel look. Stainless steel is nice, but the matte black version, it just suits it well. And the reason I like it, I think it looks really nice is because there's quite a few black parts on the Cybertruck already that are, you know, like the bumper at the front of the car is black. Obviously the edging around the windscreen is black. I think all black just has that really kind of nice sleek look, but, 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 someone here in this video had their Cybertruck wrapped in gloss black. Obviously this guy really wants to stand out, make sure everyone sees his vehicle. Not sure um, what I think of it though. Actually, I am sure. I think it looks absolutely shocking. Gloss black is just, it just doesn't work. The angles of the car, I don't know, just for some reason to me, does not look good. Anyhow, apparently a lot of people are deciding to get their Cybertrucks wrapped and not to just have the stainless steel version. In addition to that, Tesla is actually apparently getting 10,000 orders per day for the Cybertruck since the delivery event, since people knew the prices and the specs, Tesla orders, order books have just gone insane. So that means Tesla's got more than 250,000 orders since the Cybertruck was revealed to the public. Prices were revealed. That means that Tesla now has 2.3 million pre-orders, which is about nine years of production. Nine years. That, that is assuming Tesla gets to the rate of 250,000 orders per year. But it'd be 10 years of production. I don't know. Anyway. I actually think I, if I was to get, if, well, I've actually ordered a Cybertruck and I ordered it within a few hours of the vehicle being, uh, being made public, you know, obviously once we could pre-order, I ordered within a few hours, but of course I'm in Australia. So we don't have, get, we're not getting right-hand drive vehicles for, for many years in Australia. They will come. Tesla does have the Cybertruck listed on the Tesla website here in Australia as a vehicle you can buy. You can pre-order it today. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's, it's not going to come to Australia for a very long time, considering Tesla has so many orders in Canada and in America. But my opinion is this stainless steel matte black version is the best. And the reason I say this is because I've had so many bikes, cars, different products that were painted. They always get scratches. They always do. And they always get issues with the paint. Anyway, stuff happens. You got kids, you know, especially, or you got someone, you're parking in a supermarket, someone parks next to you, scratch your car. To me, the whole idea of being stainless steel is amazing. I rode my bike around the world for 12 months. I had a titanium frame. The thing got smacked, it got scratched. I crashed it in races after that event. I mean, after I rode around the world, I went in a, a 100 kilometer mountain bike race, 60 mile mountain bike race. I crashed 20 times in that race because it was the muddiest day in history. Uh, anyway, I've crashed my bike many times, stainless steel, plain titanium frame, and it still looks new. That's why I love the Cybertruck finish. And that's why I wouldn't personally get it coated, even though I think the matte black looks fantastic. That's the reason I wouldn't do it. But what are your thoughts? What do you think of this gloss black? If there was a color, you want to order one, which would you get? Would you get the stainless steel, gloss black, matte black, or matte white? Or or something else entirely. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.